Do you want to know why I quit teaching to create content full time? Keep watching. Story time. What's up, everybody? My name is Abby, and I'm a digital media strategist living right here in the UAE. Prior to that, I taught PE for eight years, started off in Washington, D.C., and then came over to Dubai. So I really enjoyed teaching. There was nothing wrong with the job per se. I was always tinkering with things and finding different things to mess around with to make my class more tech integrated, even when I worked in a school that had minimum resources. I was pretty much the unofficial tech person. I knew how to work all the projectors, and the speakers, I even made myself like a mobile cart. So I had like one of those old school MacBooks, a projector, a speaker system, and even a Bluetooth mixer because I was in an area to where if my students were not doing something active, they were probably gonna start fighting. So I found all the different things that I could utilize to keep their attention, be it music or graphics and things of that nature to make sure that my classroom management could be contained and we wouldn't have more disasters on our hands. There was a time where I even figured out how to record our school play Annie right from my mobile phone and just had another mixer plugged up I was able to go back and edit that thing but I've always been a person who can figure things out even when presented with little to no resources so you can only imagine that when I got my job in Dubai I was at one of the most innovative schools in the world and I was exposed to so many different things that I could play around with and learn more about in terms of technology couple that with the fact that I was being paid tax-free money and they were paying for my living expenses, I had the opportunity to not only purchase, but also invest in different equipment, such as cameras and courses and things of that nature to really have a better understanding of how I can present my story and my message to other people. So as I started buying more cameras and started really digging deeper into the courses, I started to use my school environment to test out the knowledge that I was doing. So I started to make recap videos for events that I was holding on field days or staff talent shows and being able to create that content to share with the school on their social media platforms or their LED displays or TVs that they had around campus. Now, as I was learning more and getting more excited about the things that I could do, I started to ask more questions like, hey, how can I get more involved in this? Or how can I get a new computer so this would be faster? And was able to get a stipend for creating additional content for the school. So I was super happy to be able to create content that the parents and the students can interact with and reflect on from time to time. Then COVID hit. And what did COVID do? It did a lot of things, but it did open up my mind to the various ways that I can contribute, not only in my school, but to the world because then I began to create more interactive lessons, physical education lessons that I could share, not only with my students, but I began to put it on YouTube and share it with the world. And I got thousands of views from all over the world on the various activities that I was creating from my living room with a green screen and my MacBook, just finding different ways to communicate, to keep the kids active while we could not be present with one another. Now that just opened up another can of worms with the impact that I found that I could have if I had more time to be able to create that type of media. So after pitching a couple ideas to my school on how I could either go full time to create content for them or even reducing my class load, it just wasn't something they were looking for at that time. And so therefore, the decision had to be made for me not to return in the next school year. So I did not resign the contract and decided to pursue a freelance visa to be able to create content on a full time basis for myself. At the end of the day, I was going to keep my teaching license anyway. So even if I failed, I could just then go and find another teaching opportunity in a different place. Now, this hasn't been an easy road. Do not get me wrong. It took me a long time to find what my niche would be. I explored many different things from photography to videography for different events and people who were traveling here, but it wasn't something that I was really invested in. Being an educator, I needed to provide value. So doing frivolous things such as parties or yacht parties or whatever, it didn't fill my cup. It's always been a practice of mine to make sure that the things that I produce can bring value to other people as well as myself. So certain things I just wasn't interested in or didn't really suit my fancy. So therefore, I invested in more courses and more communities to be able to be around like-minded individuals and find what was missing for me. I also discovered a gap. The gap was people were creating lots and lots of content, but only using it one time. And I found that to be kind of like a waste. That's one of the reasons I leaned into repurposing so much. As an educator, we have to repeat things on a yearly basis to different types of students. And you find various ways to present this information to students at their varying levels of understanding. And so with that gap, I was like, ooh, let me lean into repurposing some more so that people don't just use a video one time, but now we can break it up in multiple 
multiple different ways to service various learning styles, put it in different formats, and catch people at different times. Repurposing was also something that I decided to service as a business model to be able to repurpose things for people who maybe had podcasts or were speakers or things at church. The way I do business and create content have completely changed since I discovered that providing repurposing services for personal brands or churches or speakers on a retainer basis was a key ingredient that I needed to ensure that I had the income I needed on a month to month basis. So now I know I made the right choice because here I am sharing my story and creating resources and communities for other individuals just like you who would like to learn more about repurposing and how you can service other clients. Speaking of communities, I just started a new Facebook group called Content Creators Looking to Start a Business Repurposing Content. So check the description below so that you can get involved and I can teach you more about what I'm doing as a business and hopefully you can start your own as well. I also have a weekly newsletter where I'm sharing tips, tricks, and exclusive insight into repurposing content. You can find that information in the description as well. Be sure to check out the other content on my channel where I'm sharing more about content creation and repurposing. I'll see you in the next video.